Hello beautiful cancer, thank you so much for being here today and thank you for letting me share this with you. Thank you as well for allowing me to come into your home, in your heart and in your spirit. Cancer, I've connected with your card today and it's like I have a feeling here of someone waiting for something. There's someone here anticipating something's going to happen or you're waiting for something to come. It, that I feel is going to happen for you in November. You may be suspicious or cautious about something here, but I feel that in November this will be resolved. I don't know what that's about for everybody. That's going to be different, but that's the connection I had here with cancer. And your reward is sign cancer, which is a lot of love, abundance, prosperity, caring, family. You just love. Your heart is filled with so much love that sometimes people don't understand that love. Oh, let's see what we have for cancer. Thank you for giving me that feeling of cancer. All right, let's see where cancer's come from. Where have you come from, cancer? What's been happening for you? What's been happening in the last few months, in the last year? The Hierophant. A lot of lessons were learnt. A lot of teachings. A lot of connections. A lot of spiritual healing. A lot of hope, wish, guidance being asked for here. Help. You've come from a, a time of learning. There was so much that you've learnt cancer in the last few months, in the last year at least. You learnt a lot of lessons. You studied, you adapted, you gave yourself to learn. You went through situations that taught you things that you didn't know before or felt before. Where's Cancer right now? Where is Cancer sitting at right now? The Empress. Oh, Cancer, this is a beautiful card. You may have Taurus or Libra in your sign as well, in your chart, but if you don't, this is the motherly figure. The figure that has not only um, not only has nurtured other people, but has also you've guided people with what you what you've learnt in life. You've guided people to understand that life is a certain way. You've nurtured people through their difficult times. You've cared for people when they most needed it. This is a motherly figure here, Cancer. This is a person that has dedicated themselves, dedicates themselves every day to helping others, to bringing joy into other people's lives. Sometimes neglecting who you are to put others in front of you. The motherly figure, Cancer. The, the one that protects everybody, that wants to protect everybody. What has, what's coming up for Cancer, please? Oops, too much, too much. Looking for answers, I got that. I, I got here, they're looking for answers, they're looking for guidance, looking for something here. Cancer, what's coming up for Cancer, please? The Six of Swords. Six of Swords upside down, which is, this is someone who wonders about what's out there. What else can I do? What else is out there for me? What else?
else can I expect? When is that answer or that person or that information going to come in? In November, remember I said to you that in November you'll have a lot of answers. That's the Six of Swords upside down. That's your wondering, your thinking, your questions are going to be answered in November. What are we talking about here for the Six of Swords? What are we talking about here for the Six of Swords for Cancer, please? The Four of Wands. Look at that card, Cancer. Look at that card. It's like that was flat. And this person here is standing here asking, what, what are the answers? What are the solutions? And out of nowhere, this lifts and there's the sun. There's your answer and your solution in November. No longer will you be wondering. You will have your answer, your solution, or what you need in November. That job you are looking for, that beautiful person to come into your life, that answer that you needed, that information you wanted. November brings that for you. Okay, what have we got for Cancer, please? For November. Cancer for November. It's said. I'll do all the cards, Cancer, and then we'll go into it and I'll tell you what I see. Okay, very quick. The King of Pentacles. The Six of Wands. Did I tell you you're going to get an answer? You're going to get your answer. You're going to have your victory in November. You're going to get your promotion. You're going to get your job. The Four of Swords upside down. The Six of Cups. One more place. Two more. The Nine of Pentacles. I said that. And on the bottom, the Page of Swords. And I'll put that on the bottom with the Eight of Wands. Let's start off with these cards here, Cancer. This is someone who was in the woods lost. You may have felt lost in parts of your life or in your life and there was no answers or solutions or things that you could do anymore everything seemed out of your control no matter what you did you couldn't find your answer or your solution and in November you will find that information and everything that I said before comes to you this is just exactly telling me this is where you were in the forest, lost at times. But now you found your way out of that. Meaning that you're going to get your answer, your solution and exactly what you're looking for. For some of you here, it was a job. And here you will find your perfect job in November. Someone here is going to come and offer you a job. A job that is so, not only is it going to be what you want, but it's going to mean so much to you. Because it's going to bring you the stability, the, the appreciation, the value. It's going to show you, it's going to just cement the value that you deserve the gifts and the talents that you have and everything that you've learnt is going to be used in this job, in this offer or in this project. I also have here the Four of Swords and the Six of Cups. No longer are you going to doubt yourself because many of you here were doubting yourself. You were in situations here that you weren't finding what you needed and this here is saying you're no longer going to feel like you are not in control you're no longer going to feel that you're on your own or that you um, cannot help somebody 
you're going to be able to fulfill a dream that you've had or look after somebody or mother somebody of huge importance to you. This may be you mothering um, your mother or your father looking after them, giving them lots of love and nurturing and care just like they gave you when you were a child. This is you giving everything of yourself to them. If this is a dream or a goal that you had, this may be a goal or a dream that you've had since you were a child. And in November, that comes forward to happen for you. So no longer do you have to wonder what if. No longer are you going to um, question your ability, question your worth or your talents or your gifts. Something about your childhood, you may now accomplish something in accomplish something now that you couldn't do when you were a child for reasons of not being able to afford it, not being able to do it, not being allowed to do it. It was like there was a blockage in your childhood to stop you or your adolescence to stop you moving in that direction. But finally, you're now you're going to be able to do that. That's going to make sense to somebody here. We've got the nine of pentacles here. This card talks about abundance, beauty, love, nurturing, being able to feel secure, have stability, being able to buy what you want, have what you haven't had in a long time, being able to share with those that you love and support those that you love. Nine of Pentacles is, is a fulfillment, it's an achievement here, Cancer. It's I finally achieve what I've been working for, what I've been wishing for, what I've been hoping for. I find what I wanted. See how she's holding something precious close to her chest. It's like this is not only about money, it's not only about stature, it's about fulfillment, it's about more than just material things. And the Page of Swords here with the Eight of Wands, we've gone into that already. You find your way out of those woods and you complete what you wanted. You get what you needed and what you've been working hard towards. What a beautiful reading, Cancer. Let's see what message we have here for Cancer, please. Cancer. What do we have here for Cancer, please? Cancer, if you want a private reading, all the details are below, in the description below. Look at that, Grace. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Every like, every share, every subscription helps us immensely. So if you can find that in your heart, to do that for us here as a collective and help your fellow Cancerians, I would be so forever grateful. Thank you. Grace, you will, you who glide across the waters of my soul, bring me your wisdom and light. Help me transform into elegance and grace. Inspire me with dignity and the spirit of beauty. Gliding through life. You're going to be able to glide through life now, Cancer. You're going to see that all the hard times are getting left behind you. All the challenges, everything that you did that took so much more energy than necessary, 
now you're going to see that you flow through things life flows for you brings you things in a beautiful flow to complete you with grace Wow, I, sense, I felt a sense of relief here, Cancer. Relief. What else do we have here for Cancer, please? Cancer. None other but belief. I believe in myself, the beauty of life, and the goodness of God. If you don't, believe in God, say what it is that you believe in, spirit, universe, Buddha, Allah, whoever it is, you can put that word in instead of God, but I will say God here, I believe in myself and the beauty of life, the goodness of God, thus I have the power to fulfill my dreams, the will of the Almighty supports me, my life is showered with divine light and my heart opens to the power of the universe. Take a photo of that cancer and say that throughout November. That's going to be your mantra, the belief in you, the belief in you are everything in this universe. I hope that helps somebody here, Cancer. Love you lots. Thank you so much for being here. Bye-bye.